Hello and welcome to Desk QA. My name's Sam and in today's short video we're going to be going over how to create, update and run test cases within our app. Desk QA is a no-code test automation tool. Using a simple drag and drop node mechanism you can create user journeys and user flows with ease. We have over 85 different nodes that includes visual regression, accessibility testing, API integrations and much much more. In this example We've got a Chrome desktop runner and an iPhone 12 Pro emulated device. Going to a login field, entering the details, logging in, and then logging back out again. To run a test case in DesQA, it's as simple as clicking play. You can run it from here within the flow, from the results view here, from the flows view here, and also run the entire test back from here. By default, DesQA runs at full concurrency or parallelization. That means if you had 100 test cases across your tests, it will run all on 100 at the same time. In this example, there's only two. So we can see a mobile example and a desktop example. When a test case runs, you'll get a screenshot of each step performed. And when the test case is completed, you'll also get a video of the run. Videos are also downloadable for later use. Nodes in Does QA are configured with elements sometimes. In this example, this is checking that the username is displayed. Elements can be created within the flow here, or also they sit at the top level here. Does QA follows a page object model format. This means if I update an element here, every single flow that uses it will be updated at the same time. This makes test maintenance a breeze. Elements in Does QA support CSS selectors, XPath, visible text, and test IDs. Values in Does QA are a way of passing different information into the test case from external sources. We'll cover this more in depth in another video. You're able to tag test cases and also trigger them remotely via a CI CD pipeline. Updating and creating new test cases is simple as dragging a new node in from the left here or duplicating nodes within the flow, connecting them up, configuring them and then running the test cases. So if we made a light extension to this test case, for example, a bad login. So let's drop a name test node in here and call it incorrect password. Go over here and branch this. We can copy this one by clicking the copy button here and we'll join this up. So we wanna make sure this is the incorrect password. Let's remove the exclamation mark and add one, two, three. We still want to touch login, so let's copy this one. Drag this over here. But now, because we know this is an incorrect password, we actually want to make sure the login still exists. So going over here, we want to copy this, and also we want to copy this one. So, but this is going to swap around. So we want to say that logout does not exist anymore, and that login is still displayed. So as you can see, in a matter of moments, we've now taken this test case, which was two test cases, into four. A desktop example with an incorrect password, a desktop example with a correct password, a mobile example with an incorrect password, and a mobile example with a correct password. If you go to the results view, you can see our two test cases that were there before. Clicking preview now, we'll be able to see which test cases it finds again. Great. Mobile example mobile example incorrect password, desktop example incorrect password, and a desktop example. We can see by opening up here what steps are going to be performed. So you can see this is the correct password here, and this one here is the incorrect password. You can run individual test cases once you've previewed them here, or run the entire test pack again here. I hope you found this video insightful. If you'd like to see more, Make sure to follow us and keep up to date with DoesQA. Thank you so much for your time and happy testing.